I've now added support for Cheerlights to my Raspberry Pi Pixel server. This allows you to join the Cheerlights network which sets the colour of lights around the world based on a simple tweet. The feature will actually allow other custom lights which I'll explain later, but for this I'm assuming it's going to be used with Cheerlights. First, what is Cheerlights? It's an Internet of Things project that synchronises lights around the world based on tweets. This shows some LEDs around the world. Before cheer lights, they use their own colour. But when they register with cheer lights, whenever someone tweets a colour to at cheer lights, then they all change to the same colour. It's like a way of bringing the world together through coloured lights. Or a way to make your lights so that you can change colour using Twitter, whichever you prefer. Of course, this also means that other people can change the colour of your lights. But that's just part of the way this works. If you follow my channel, you've probably seen the Pixel server before. This is one of my main projects, providing a way to control a strip of NeoPixels, or RGB LEDs, using a web interface. More details of how you can create your own are included in my website. See the link in the description. At a minimum, you need a Raspberry Pi. Any model will do, so long as you can connect it to a network. And some RGB LEDs. If you already have the Pixel server set up, then it's easy to upgrade to add this new feature. So if you used Git to install the server, then it's literally as simple as changing to the Pixel server directory. This may be in slash ops if you use the new instructions or your home directory uh, with the old instructions. Then use git pull, and that will download the latest version of the source code onto your machine. And then when you restart, you'll be with the new code. If you've not already got it installed or you didn't use a Git clone, then you can just download and overwrite the existing software. And there's a link to my website and that'll take you to the GitHub site where you can download the code. Again, this is all in the description. Here I've got the website showing the latest version of the server code. And you can see there's this new option that's appeared on the add colors called the custom color. You can just insert this color in the sequence wherever you would like the custom color. For example, if you want all the LEDs to change to the cheer lights color, then just add that to the sequence, click all on and click apply. And they'll now all use the custom color. If you wanted the custom color or the cheer lights colour to be used alongside other colours, then you can do that as well. Just add the other colours. So now it'll be one instance of the custom colour or the cheer lights colour followed by two white ones. And that's useful if you want to use this to illuminate an area, but give you a hint of the custom colour. If you want multiple custom colour LEDs, then you can add them as well. And they'll all change to the custom color. Note that the custom color is actually defined in a config file. It's called customlight.cfg. I'll explain how it's updated in a bit, but be aware that you can add multiple colors in that file. So if you do that, it'll apply each of the colors to that file to the LEDs in the sequence. So if the file had say blue and red, this would display blue, white, white, red. And you can do that for more LEDs as well. But if you have more colors than you have LEDs, then they'll be dropped. Or if you have less colors, then they'll be repeated. So how does it actually know what the custom color should be? As I've mentioned, it's in a file called customlight.cfg. So move on to this server. So this is the one that's running the pixel server code. And you can see there's a file called customlight.cfg. So if we you look at that, it's just got this one entry, which is the color. And this one has been set by cheer lights. If you wanted to do it manually, you could just edit this. So we could do Let's 
we do that and then the color will change now there may be a slight delay depending upon which sequence you're using uh, it'll continue use, running its current sequence first and then change but usually that's quite a short delay what we'd really want is for this file to be automatically updated with the color from cheerlights the easiest way of doing this is to add an entry to cron so that it does it automatically so if i show you this on this server we do cron tab minus e to edit the cron table it may ask you which editor you want to use i'm using the vim editor and then you just need to put this entry in you don't have to memorize this or write this down this will be in fact this is included in the readme file in the github code so if you download the code this is already explained in there if i just explain it a little so this is saying every five minutes it kind of convoluted it means every divided by five every minute divided by five every hour day of the month month and day of the week so it's going to run every five minutes wget is how we're communicating with the api for cheerlights and it's just going to download a web page which is just going to give us that one value this is the directory and the file name that you want to save it i'm putting this in the home directory which was in the original instructions if you've installed it more recently this may be in your slash opt directory slash op slash pixel server and then this is the api address and this is just a web page if you navigate to this you literally just see a color so you put that into the cron tab and just save that and now every five minutes it's going to pull off the latest color from cheerlights and save that into that file to see how you change the colors we can Go to the Cheerlights website. It shows you some of the projects that use this. So these are different projects all around the world which all use this colour and will all change at the same time. But to get more details, we look at the API. And this explains about the API, the, how we're pulling down the colours. It also tells you towards the bottom about how you can control cheer lights and as it says you just send a tweet to our cheer lights or you could include the hashtag cheer lights and it will automatically change it you just need the name of the color you don't have to put the html color you just need to put the word so at cheer lights paint the town red or you could add any of these orange yellow old lace that's an off-white color and here you can see an example tweet that I sent when I was testing that this is working. I just put testing at cheer lights, my Raspberry Pi NeoPixels. Let's see some red, please. So it will look through this, find the word red, and then we'll broadcast that out or put that on the server so that everybody else can change their color of their cheer lights to match. After you sent that tweet, after a short delay, you should notice that your lights change to the color that you put on there note that the way i set it up using cron it only checks every five minutes you could check more often if you wanted so there is a chance that someone else could tweet a different color shortly after you've sent your tweet in which case you may never see your color but that's just a feature of cheer lights and the fact that it's community driven something you need to accept but also it's part of the feature of it So this video has shown how you can use cheer lights with the Raspberry Pi Pixel server. Let me know in the comments what you think or if this is something you've implemented yourself. You could also share if you have some other ways of updating the custom light.cfg file. Perhaps you've written your own custom scripts to do that. Please hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, please click on subscribe and turn on notifications to find out about my future updates, both to this and to other projects. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on a future video.